Hey friends, Pastor T here, and I want to start off by saying Merry Christmas. Amity and I hope that your Christmas is filled with the peace and joy that Jesus came to give us. You know, Christmas is a time for gift giving and remembrance of the greatest gift ever given, the free gift of salvation given through Jesus Christ. And if Christmas commemorates the birthday of Jesus, it ought to be about Him, right? I mean, imagine going to a birthday party where everyone but the birthday boy received gifts. But what do you give God? The earth is the Lord's and all that it contains. I mean, if you think choosing a gift for your spouse or your mother-in-law is hard, what could God possibly want or need at Christmas? Well, Psalm 105.1 says, give praise to the Lord. This Christmas, make time to give God praise. Praise Him for who He is. Praise Him for what He's done. Praise Him for sending Jesus at Christmas. Psalm 107.1 says, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. Make time today to give God thanks. Even if you've got some challenges in your life, there is always something to be thankful for. And because of what we celebrate at Christmas, there is always someone to be thankful for. His name is Jesus. Finally, Romans 6.13 says, Give yourselves completely to God. For you were dead, but now you have new life. So offer every part of yourself to Him as an instrument of righteousness. This Christmas, in a new way or a fresh way, would you give God your life? Would you give him your heart? Give him your trust. Give him your praise. Commit or recommit to give him your time, your talent, your treasure. For God so loved the world that he gave us the greatest gift ever. So let's give ourselves back to him. Hey, we love you. We're praying for you. And we wish you a blessed and Merry Christmas.